Hey guys, what is up? In today's video, I'm going to be basically showing you how to pull this off. Um, I guess without further ado, if you like what you see, if you like, if you are interested in even continuing to watch any of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I just want to talk about the fact that this this wig is just killing it. Maybe I should have done my eyebrows black. You know what? That probably is the one thing I would have done differently with this look. Eyebrows black because of the wig. Anyways, let's get started, shall we? All right, so first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply the zipper with some spirit gum. You want to put the spirit gum on the side of the zipper and also on your face. Okay, now I'm going to contour using the darker brown colors. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking the brown colors and running it up and down the sides of the zippers and filling in any holes that I might have. Alright, next I'm going to do my eyebrows. That, uh, well, is self-explanatory. Um, now, like I said, I probably would have done these black instead of brown, but I didn't really think that through, so. Alright, the next thing you want to do is have your petroleum jelly and your fake skin and your spirit gum ready. The first thing you will do in these steps is you will put the spirit gum on your skin where you plan on placing the fake skin. Then you will put petroleum jelly on your fingers and or tool that you are using to help shape and place the fake skin. Um, and the next thing that I did is I basically, to make the holes, I used the tip, the end tip of a makeup brush and dipped it in the petroleum jelly to help kind of shape and mold the fake skin because if you don't do that it will cause your skin to the fake skin that is to break and or not work at all or not even come out with the effect that you want um, and basically what you do is you just repeat these steps wherever you plan on placing your fake skin. So the steps are first, spirit gum. Second, petroleum jelly on fingers and or tool that you use. Third, shape the fake skin onto your skin and place it wherever the petroleum jelly is. And then, you know, use a makeup brush or whatever else you want to use to kind of make holes, make it look like it's kind of cut up, whatever you plan on doing do it so yeah those are pretty simple steps I think Alright, so if you feel like you put a little bit too much petroleum jelly to help shape the fake skin, what you can do is kind of powder it down a little bit. However, don't use too much because it will mess up the fake skin. So next, what I am going to do is I am just taking a darker red color from a palette that I got on sale and it's like a face painting palette um, that I got from Walmart. So nothing special. And I'm just basically putting, filling in all of the holes with this red and all the scars or whatever else that I had on my face. So yeah.
All right, so the next thing that I use is the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star. Um, I use this palette for pretty much everything, especially when I'm doing glory looks because it has so many reds and darker browns and it even has a gray color and like a really dark purple color in it. So basically the colors I used were called Glucose, which was more of a highlight color and it's white. And I use Sugar Cane, Cake Mix, and Ouch. Um, and those are more of the brown shades that you see on my face. I also used Tongue Pop because it was like a pinkish, reddish brown. I used O Positive, which is also a little bit of a gray color. And I used Fresh Meat and Extraction, which were the darker purple. And I believe it was like a really, really dark red as well. But most of the darker purples and darker reds you can see like on the bottom part of my, um, like on my neck and on my chest. I love this palette. You can use this in your everyday makeup look or you can use this in whatever extra look you want to pull off like gore looks for example. Um, <laughs> Jeffree Star, by the way, I just want to say if you see this video, um, I have never been disappointed with any of your products. So, there's that. I also use the Blood Sugar Palette on my eyes. Um, I believe I use the color Sugar Cane Cake Mix and Tongue Pop, if I'm not mistaken, because I just wanted it to be kind of a lighter color. And on the lid of my eye, I use Sweetener, which is like this golden color, but it turned out really, really nice. Alright guys, here is the finished look. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching!